What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 129 of the Games and Grabs podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I am joined, as always, by Finn Steele. Hello. And Steve. Hello. And uh, we're trying something a little bit different today. So if the, the podcast sounds or looks different than it usually does, uh, that's because it is. So we're using a, a new a new thing to record. That, that's that's the technical term for it. We can do all sorts of fancy things. This is going to be on YouTube as well. Um, so if you want to go to YouTube, you'll be able to see our faces and a whole host of different fun stuff. You're welcome. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Finn, how you doing? I'm doing all right, thank you. Now, webcam working. You may see, if you watch on YouTube, my name is Steve with webcam back. That's in yep. technical issue. Otherwise, you I'm this on Facebook as well, actually. Yeah. Good, good idea. Yeah. yeah. I'm all good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much. Excited by this uh, this new technology that we've got. Yeah. I feel like we're time. entering a, a new era for the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's all very fancy, isn't it? It is all very fancy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. The, the YouTube version and Facebook video version of this is going to look great. I'm super excited. I mean, the people who listen to it just on like normal audio platforms, you're still getting the same crummy shit that you always get. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, yeah, that's. It. But it, this is exciting for us. We're going to be doing um, a really cool live Raw Rumble pre-show before the pre-show tomorrow as well, using this fancy tech. But it's going to be. Yeah. It's all very, very exciting. Steve, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, yeah, very good, and very excited about using. All of this wonderful stuff that we now have. I know, yeah. I mean, this, this will mean nothing if you're listening to it like just on like uh, Apple Podcasts or Spotify or something. This will only really mean something if you check it out on YouTube. So go to youtube.com forward slash games graps and uh, just have a look at the the new stuff that we are we are using. Um, it's going to be it's, it's going to take a little while for us to get fully used to it because we can sort of do stuff on the fly like this. And you know we can. There's, there's all sorts of different stuff that we can that we that we can do. So okay, you all, he's all, all <laughs> <papers rumors. laughs> It's confirmed. Yeah, yeah confirmed. Yeah. Uh, it's can't, it can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. Just like WWE, you ruin all the surprises. Yeah, yeah. WWE can't can't keep surprises. Not at all. Um, <laughs> so we've got um, quite a bit to get through. Uh, this week we're going to be doing the Royal Rumble predictions, and we're going to start the games and graps eliminator. Hopefully, we've mm. got all the sound bites that we need queued up. We do maybe. <laughs> there we go. There's one. That's the yeah. correct answer. And do we have a wrong answer? One. We do. You're making me flick between the pages. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's nice and loud. And uh, I'm going to turn it down as well. No, 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 it's fine. It's absolutely fine, honestly. Look at the concentration on your face, Finn. I love it. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, 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 that works for me, Finn. That's, 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 that's cool. Um, right, so um, we'll start the podcast as we do every single week by talking about the games that we've been playing. So, Finn, what have you been playing? Hello. Um, yeah, more the same, really. I'm very boring like that. Uh, more Devil May Cry, more Paper Mario. Um, also downloaded, but we have to play properly, uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps on PC. Oh, yeah, nice. And also the Medium, which is on Game Pass. This came out. Yep. An Xbox exclusive. Holy shit. It actually came out and happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. It's like surprising. This, yeah. It, and, it, and, it's, and it's good. I'll talk about it in a little bit. Yeah, I've heard good things. And I've played the very first like segment. I'm like, yeah, this is good. Yeah, it, it feels very old school, doesn't it? In like yeah, terms like, of the way that they've done it and stuff with the camera cuts. Yeah, maybe think of like very Resident Evil. It's all like a lot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's it's very very cool. Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, other than that, it's more the same really. More being fit, keeping fit. Otherwise, it's all good. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> looking so, uh, yeah, looking. You're looking stacked. I am. I know. <laughs> I think my <laughs> WWE can't keep secrets. Yeah. Um, yeah, but... sorry, I'm, I'm, learning, I'm learning on the fly. I didn't actually mean to put that up there, but um, it's, it's uh, uh, I'm, I'm learning on the uh, I'm learning on the fly, guys. Yeah. So if you see if you see random things popping up like this, then um, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, it's just because um, we're, we're all excited. We're like a we're like a dog with two dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Great, <laughs> <That's> scene. <laughs> well, I like it. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, next week I'll do the podcast show. Let's... Yeah. Um, <laughs> Steve, um, what have you been playing? Uh, so we have been playing, or we, I say we, it's the Royal We, isn't it? Um, so been playing Sea of Thieves with yourself and Darren. There you go, Darren. You've had your mention. You can turn off now. Um, yeah, he listens to the podcast uh, just for a mention of himself, and then he stops listening. <laughs> yeah, you're a melt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that next week when we go on uh, or when we go on see a fever. Oh, thanks for tip mention. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, right. Oh, right. At least you called me a melt. Yeah, yeah. That's that's exactly what's going to happen as well. It's I exactly tuned in for that mention, like and then uh, yeah, the, yeah. The voice that we do is completely accurate for him as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've been playing uh, Sea of Thieves. Um, uh, the season one started on Thursday, the 28th of Jan. So uh, it was a bit bit slow to start off with, wasn't it? Um, uh, some things weren't working, as you would expect, but uh, still a great game. Um, and we we did what we could. Uh, I, had a, I, I jumped on it again yesterday, and uh, we have been handsomely rewarded for the for the haul that we got so enjoy that next time you log on mm. oh yeah definitely i mean i logged on yesterday and um i was yeah i mean i went up to level six and yeah yeah you unlock it's, it's basically it's, it's, it's just like how fortnite seasons work and you know other other games that have that sort of thing that's that's how that works basically mm. but it's yeah. cool you know it gives us something new and we're getting better at the game as well, which yeah, was evident definitely. from just playing the other day. So, um, yeah, I, I love it so much. Finn, I can't wait for you to jump on with us. So just so yeah. you can sort of experience what we're talking about every week. And, like, we, we sing its praises. And you must be sitting there thinking, um, yeah, I'm sure it's great, but now I need to get really on the pirate yeah. ship as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, yeah, next time you play, give me a shout, and I'll, I'll hop on and do all down. <laughs> I'll try and learn on the fly. <laughs> it doesn't take too long. <laughs> no, not at all. No, no, not at be all. Fine. Yeah. Um, so I've been playing. Uh, I, I've done a little bit more of uh, Ori, but not a huge amount. Um, but I also um, downloaded the uh, ten-hour trial of UFC Four. Oh now, I yeah. Okay. Where, I don't know whether that's always been there on EA Play or whether it's something that they added to coincide with the Conor McGregor update that they've done because Conor McGregor fought and lost last week um <laughs> so i don't know whether it's coincides with all of that but i downloaded it um just to see what it was like and uh it really enjoyed it really really enjoyed it i've still got four or five hours of the trial to go uh but it's given me a taste enough that i'll probably uh buy buy the full version um once my trial is over you see uh, or, wait, my... or wait for it to come on game pass which won't be long, to be honest. Did you see my ginger no, cat walk past can... the screen then? If you did, yeah. uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, you saw my ginger cat walk past the screen. He's uh, he's very intrusive. He doesn't he doesn't care about uh, you know us recording a podcast or anything. And now he's come through. <laughs> there he is again. Look, there he is again. Oh. If you're watching on YouTube, there he is. Oh, thanks for the tail in the face. I appreciate it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's funny. He just he just wants to be part of the show. That's what it is. Yeah. Podcat. Don't blame him. Podcat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. he loves it. There we go. There's our little podcast mascot. But it's good that you've uh, been having um, a bit more of a play with different games. The 10 hour trial has actually been there since uh, a week before the game came out because EA do that. They yeah. give you ten hour, uh, a 10 hour trial before the, the game comes out a week before. Um, yeah. But it's good that they do do that. Plus, you know, you get your achievements and stuff for playing the trial, which is yeah. great as well. Yeah. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's a really, it's a really cool thing. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. I really like it as well. I do have it for PlayStation and I, I do really like it as well. I didn't at first, um, mm. Uh, but it took me it took me a little while to get into. Um I played the other ones and this one felt a little bit different, but not like too different. Um but I think that's probably why I wasn't too enamored with it to start with, because it, it mm. wasn't like um a, you know leagues apart from the previous release. And uh, there he is again, podcast yeah. just walking across the screen. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. Well basically I'm recording on a pool table, so like I'm sitting <laughs> I'm sitting on a. I'm like basically using my pool table as a as a, a podcast table because it's got my stuff in the background, as I'm sure you can see. And uh, they like to sort of wander around on said pool table. He's lying down now. He's having a fuss. He's he's having a good time. Uh, you got a pool table? That's what we meet up again. Have to get get over there. Have a game of pool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I can't wait for us all to be able to sort of come around again and watch pay per views and 
do the pre-show before the pre-show live and all that kind of thing. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it's who is now. It's uh, podcast mother has just walked into uh, to come and collect him. So, <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, yeah, that's cool. So it's good that you've been playing a bit more different stuff, Steve. I really haven't this week, to be quite honest. I played more um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, probably. To be honest, actually, I've played a lot of it. I'm probably up to about 20 hours now. Um, nice. Just just another 40 to go. But I'm I'm still really enjoying it. I'm there's something about this one that's that's grabbed me far more than uh, you know the previous um, installments of the franchise. I think I think the I love the characters and I love the settings and I like the way that the game is laid out. You have to like take over different regions and each region introduces you to a bunch of new characters who have their own different story. Um, and you know, that they all take a, you know, a few hours per time and you get to really know the characters and the stories are really fleshed out. You get to, it's just really, really good. And, you know, if you are looking for a game that's going to take you, you know, a long time to, to play through something to keep you going for the long haul, then Assassin's Creed Valhalla is, is definitely for you. And it's, it's something that I'm, I'm really, really enjoying. And, um, it's, it's kept my interest way more than I thought it would. And I'm really excited about, you know, going to the next, the next, the next region and doing the next part of it and learning more about the different characters in the world. And it's, it's just a really great game. Best, best Assassin's Creed game for a long, long time. Nice. I agree. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it, it's really, really good. And it's just absolutely stunning as well. Like, totally stunning. Yeah, excellent, awesome. Like, the, the yeah. lighting yeah. is ridiculous. It just looks like when, you, when you're, like, trotting around on your horse, um, it just looks real. Like, the, the way the lighting, like, reflects off the grass and puddles and all that sort of stuff. I know it sounds stupid, but it, it just looks it just looks amazing. Yeah. I'm, it makes I'm a difference, though, doesn't it? It just it makes you want to play it more. You know, it makes um, the world a difference. It really makes the world a difference, and it's just, yeah. uh, it's it's a really special release, and it really shows off um, the next generation consoles to their uh, to uh, what they can do. So you know, I mean, this is yeah, okay. The the, the face animations are still a bit janky, but uh, and you know, the characters they don't look great. They still look like they're made. They're sort of like Assassin's Creed characters, basically. And if you've played Assassin's Creed, you'll know what I mean. But it's it's still a very very pretty game like the the like the the world really makes up for the characters maybe looking a little bit crummy and i know the latest update that the game had um sometimes when the characters are talking the mouse don't even move so that's great <laughs> so that takes you out of it a little bit but you know you, you you start going back out into the world and you're like okay yeah this game is is really amazing and i can forgive the uh the, the lack of mouth movements uh during dialogue sometimes because of it yeah, I remember when the PS2 uh, first came out, people were like, "Whoa, it looks real! This is amazing!" Uh, and now uh, here we are. In games, yeah, actually- here- <laughs> yeah, the games actually look real and they actually look amazing. Yeah, but yeah. it's uh, yeah, it's 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 really really good. Um, like Steve, I've been playing Assassin's um, Assassin's Creed. I've been playing Sea of Thieves as well. Still really into that. It's great. Um, I've been playing a lot of Wrestling Empire on the Switch. Nice. I'm currently in my third reign as uh, the um, all American wrestling, uh, U- uh, United States champion. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, nice. I brought I nice. brought uh, Disco Inferno in to, or Dan Fever as he's called on Wrestling Empire, to uh, to All American Wrestling, and straight away started a feud with me. Took the United States Championship off me, Ooh. but then uh, I-, I won it back again. So it's it's all good. <laughs> good stuff. But I've only got a few weeks left of my All American Wrestling contract, and uh, Maple Leaf Wrestling have uh, approached me to uh, potentially sign me. So I'm going to see what they've got to offer wages wise before I decide to uh, jump ship. I might even jump ship with the championship. Ooh. We'll see. But, uh, it's all Finn is so good. You'll have so much fun with it. It's it's crummy as hell, but it plays. <laughs> it, it's so much fun. Like, I can't even begin to tell you how much funny it is. It, it's just great. It really is. Um, well, and I, I've been playing Mario All Stars, uh, 3D oh, All Stars. Awesome, which game you playing? Uh, Mario 64. Awesome. And it made me realise that I haven't actually played through it before. Yeah, I had neither. I played through the like remake, but never the original on uh, 64. It was good. But it's good. I really like it. I like um, I like the way the levels are laid out. I like that there's different. It tells you basically what you need to do to get the star. 
but then you just yeah. figure it out yourself. Um, it's really good, and I'm I'm really really enjoying it. So um, I'm going to crack on with that as well. I don't know how long it is, but it's not long. not compared to like doing the newer ones. I don't think it would be, but it's uh, the, yeah, that's really good fun. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, the camera's a bit a uh, bit bit of hard work at times, but yeah, it takes a bit getting used to. Yeah, but otherwise, great game, really really good. Yeah. Good um, yeah. Um, but that's pretty much all I've been playing, to be perfectly honest. Awesome. Um, not a great deal of gaming news this week. Mm, yeah, not really. If anything, no. actually, I know that there's been some stuff going on with GameStop and their outrageous stock. Pro- I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I've not read too much into it. I just know that people were going uh, going nuts for about GameStop. Yeah, I just it went over my head. It's like stocks, GameStop. Yeah. I have no idea. I'll, I'll stop paying attention to it. Yeah, it's pff, apparently it's worth money that it's not worth. Also, I don't know. I don't know if you've. Yeah. You, I'm sure you've read about it on Twitter, or you know, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna sort of like mumble uh, mumble about it because I just don't know enough about it. Yeah. Same. Um. Oh, the PlayStation Plus games have been revealed, haven't they? Oh uh, yeah, of course. Yes. Uh. So. For PlayStation Plus this month, we've got Destruction All Stars. So we were wondering last week on the podcast um, what it was going to uh, when it was because uh, I couldn't remember. And uh, we've got uh, Concrete Genie, which is great. Yeah. And also we've got the PS4 and PS5 version of Control, which yeah. has caused. <sighs> um, yeah, a little bit of controversy because basically if you you had to upgrade to the ultimate edition of control to get the ps5 version yeah um but now they're just giving it to you for free anyway yeah i guess this is their way of making it up to you it's like oh we fucked up we have to get it you know have it free sorry yeah <laughs> our bad yeah it's um yeah it's a bit of a dodgy one really but you know i, I bought it in the in the Christmas sale, oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Granted, it was only you know sixteen pounds or whatever, but you know it's still money that I, in hindsight didn't need to spend. But you know, I bought it because I knew that the the update was coming. Yeah, uh, yeah. And now we get it well, free yeah. anyway. So yeah, yeah. You got all the DLC as well. Yeah, that's cool. I'll yeah, play it's really cool. It's it's nice it. but, yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, I want to go for the. I want to get the platinum for it, and I want to play through the uh, the Alan Wake DLC. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Because that'll be that'll be that will be uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, well, that's a random week. Yeah, me too. That was a great game. Yeah, really good. Loved Amazed it. it's never had a remaster. Yeah, me too. Actually, mm. Get on really that. strange that it's uh, never had a remaster. Is it is it Remedy that make it? it? Is isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on that Remedy. I know you can play it backwards compatible on <laughs> um, Xbox. Well, all the Xbox consoles, um, but. Yeah, I don't, just 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 make a just remaster it. It's really good. Yeah, give it Max Payne Four as well. Like, like, well, I guess that's Rockstar now, isn't it? They own that. Oh, they do, don't they? Yeah. Mm. Of course, yeah. Because um, did you play Max Payne Three? Yeah. Because it, it, it was a lot. It was different, wasn't it, to the other two? Really? Yeah, it was more like generic third person shooter, running gun, take cover. Um, yeah. Game. <laughs> like you know, as all games were back then. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll take a remaster of the first two, to be honest. They were great games. Yeah, me too, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, great games. They've aged, but they're yeah. still great games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll take them. Even like a PS- you know how they brought out some PS2 games on PS4? Like, yes. I'll take that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah, I mean, can you not get them on PS5 or...? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think they've been put on there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, do that as well. Just give us all of that shit. All of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, give me. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for gaming stuff this week. Yeah. It's a bit, of a, a bit of a slow week, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People are too busy crying about um, GameStop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My stocks. Uh, and, the, and the fact that they bought Control. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, <laughs> right. So we're going to do the first. Games and Graps Eliminator. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm we'll not see. very prepared, but we will <laughs> see. Let's do it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we're, we're going to be doing. So we've got, we've got some wrestling questions and we've got some video game questions. Awesome. Um, and so Steve and Finn, they're going to have five lives each. Okay. They get a question wrong, they will lose a life. <laughs> they get a question right, the life stays. Sweet. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you can play along at home, and obviously just uh, let us know your, <coughs> um, let us know your answers on Twitter, or let us know how you got on on Twitter. Uh, as you can tell by the fact that we're sort of stumbling through this, it shows how unprepared we actually are. <laughs> but I'm also concentrating on all this new stuff that we've got going on. So uh, if I'd have been smart about it, then I would have uh, I would have prepared stuff for the uh, for the fancy new things we've got to use. But you yeah, know well, I haven't, so I've not. We'll, we'll learn as we go on. Next week we've got uh, yeah, trial and error. Okay. Yeah. Trial and error. Yeah, that that's the games and graphs way. Trial and error. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. By pretty the well. way, fourth week in a row. What the fuck? How good are we? Oh yeah, four out of fifty-two. We got this. Yep. Four out of fifty-two. Only forty-eight to go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're on a roll at the minute, though. I think we yeah, are. It's going well. And we're, and we're, two, you know, we're, we're two in a weekend as well. Hopefully. Yeah, because we're going to be doing the the live show tomorrow on the Powered Four TV uh, Facebook page, which is going to be great. So the pre-show before the pre-show uh, on the Powered Four uh, Facebook page. So go and check that out. It's going to be that, mm. that should be really good fun as well. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It's going to be like this, like the like the video version that you on YouTube right now, um, but live. Yeah. So um, yeah, if you know anything about us, live is uh, you know could could go one of two ways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't say shit or bugger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it fuck or bugger? I think it was. Yeah, it was fuck or bugger. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. oh, nice early 2000s reference there for all you youngsters out there. <laughs> yeah, if you know that reference, you're awesome. And if you do know the reference, tweet us what, what the reference is from. Yeah, no Googling. No Googling. <laughs> yeah. Right. Jeez. So, the first question. Oh, we need I feel to like we need a soundbite to, to get us into the Eliminator. Can you hear that music? Yes. Oof. Nice bed of music up there. Very nice, Finn. Can you still hear us? <laughs> oh, you yeah, like... I can still, yeah, yeah, I can still hear him. Then we're just. Uh, oh, you waiting for me to ask a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll my first. Okay, so it's 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 not. So you basically you're gonna have. I'm gonna ask the same question to both of you. Yeah. And um, you'll have ten seconds to um, get your answers together. Okay. Okay. So, this is a video game question. Sweet. Which United States president was asked and declined to voice the in-game president character in Fallout 3? Was oh. it A, Ronald Reagan, B, Bill Clinton, C, Abraham Lincoln, or D, Donald Trump? Uh, I'd say Bill Clinton, because he was alive. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go for B. Bill Clinton, if that was Bill, if that was B, sorry. <laughs> All right. So the correct answer is B, Bill Clinton. You're both correct and you both keep a life. Yeah. Get yeah. <laughs> right. Question number two is a wrestling question. I take it Abe Lincoln was unavailable. <laughs> he was unavailable and Donald Trump was a bit ahead of his time. So I threw, it's like the first question on who wants to be a millionaire. Like you get yeah. some ridiculous answers in there as well. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Cool. Here we go. Question number two is a wrestling question. So, which version of Mick Foley's Three Faces of Foley faced Stone Cold Steve Austin for the WWF Championship at Over the Edge 1998? Was it A, Mankind, B, Dude Love, C, Cactus Jack? Uh -huh. I'm going to go C. I want to go with Mankind. The correct answer is B, Dude Love. You both oh, lose love. a life. <laughs> we <Damn> both. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that was uh, that's a tough one. Wrestling. Yeah, tough one. yeah, yeah so Dude, dude Love. Don't, don't, I, don't, I don't want that shit. You've got the uh, WWE encyclopedia at your house. I said it's WWE. You're right. Yeah, you said you were going to do your research, and clearly you have not. Yeah. 
<laughs> basically, um, at this point, Dude Love was uh, sort of working alongside, or Vince McMahon was using Dude Love to try and get the championship away from uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ah, heel Dude Love. I like it. Yeah, it was good. Go back mm. and check that. That's a really good pay per view, actually. Over the edge. Nice. Over the edge, nineteen ninety eight. They don't have over the edge anymore because uh, of the the terrible incident that uh, involving uh, mm. Owen Hart at Over the Edge, nineteen ninety nine. Uh, yeah. Mm. Question number three. <laughs> the music's awesome. Um, what year was the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, also known as the SNES or the SNES, first released? Was it A nineteen eighty nine, B 1990, C, 1991, or D, 1992? I believe it was 1992. Martha, I was waiting for you to say 1988, so I'll go with the closest one to that, which is 1989. The answer is 1991. Oh, really? Oh, both wrong. <laughs> I thought I knew that one as well. I was waiting for you to say 92. Damn it. Ah, both <laughs> down to three lives. <laughs> I just wanted to Oh well, to be fair, I was like four. So, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's go for. We'll, we'll have another a video game question. Okay. What is the up to now? Which video game was the most expensive to make? Was it A? Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. B. Grand Theft Auto 5. C. WWE 2K20. Is that like- <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> cost about 50p to make. <laughs> yeah. Or D. Like- God of War, the PS4 version. Okay. I'm going to say GTA 5. Just to just to spice things up a bit, I'm gonna go A. Okay, so Steve says A, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Finn says Grand Theft Auto 5. The correct Hello, answer sure. is Grand Theft Auto 5. Yay! Always Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Warfare 2 is a very, very close one though. Yeah, I was gonna say it's one of those two for sure. Yeah. Always got on GTA 5. So Steve loses another loses another life. Uh-uh. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is a delay now. Again, wait a second. <laughs> Question number th- four is this? Five. 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 Question number five. Finn is on three lives. Steve is on two. Yeah. Um. So this is not going to be a multiple choice one. You just have to know. Right. Okay. Who won the 1999 Royal Rumble? Stone Cold. Uh, 99, God. Uh, I have no idea. I'm going to go with The Rock because... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the winner of the 1999 Royal Rumble match was Vince McMahon. Uh, oh, of course it was. Yeah, <laughs> that one, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only person to win the rumble on his debut, rumble debut. Oh, yeah, yeah I think. and plus he's fucking jacked as well. Like yeah. in in that in that Royal Rumble, he's like proper oiled up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. really yeah. funny. I mean, I was fuming. I remember. I remember sort of. Uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> I was really fuming. Yeah, we all were. Yeah. Good right. <laughs> Question number six. <laughs> Steve has one. Life left. Finn has two. Yeah. What was the so Channel Four had wrestling pay per views in the early two thousands? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Which was the final pay per view to be aired on Channel Four? This is an open ended question. Open ended. Yep. Hmm. I do think they gave WrestleMania away for free. Um. I'm going to say Royal Rumble 2001. Ooh. 
got to give it a specific year. Trying to think, they usually had two, didn't they? They usually had two. Hmm. I don't think it's some obscure pay per view. I want to say Backlash. Hmm. It was the final pay per view to be aired on Channel 4 was Armageddon. Oh, oh. Armageddon. <laughs> So it's the one where, if you remember rightly, it's the one where Chris Jericho beat uh, The yes. Rock and Stone Cold in the, uh, the same night to win the undisputed WWF Championship. Nice. The, Steve... the, the pay-per-view the pay that uh, stopped me, or that I stopped watching wrestling for ages after that because I was fuming. <laughs> <laughs> wow. In <laughs> hindsight, yeah. But... <laughs> All right, but... I suck. <laughs> no, you don't suck. So Steve has... <laughs> Steve has lost this week's Games and Graps Eliminator, but that was good fun. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, next week we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll 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 carry that on and we'll have a bit more uh, a bit more cohesive questions because I'm just doing yeah. it on the fly. Win wins. <laughs> so one point. Finn wins one nil to Finn. Well yeah. done, Finn. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Finn. Give yourself a round of applause. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I've got that too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay, so this uh, this Sunday is the Royal Rumble pay per view. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's, it. it's shaping up to be uh, an interesting show. Yes, yeah. I think so. Yeah, so the well, f- before we get to that, we'll start with the week in wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll start with Monday Night Raw, which once again was a total shit show. It wasn't great <laughs> for the most part. I mean, Steve, you said by all accounts that you know Raw was better this week, but was it better? Marginally, but the bar yeah. is very, very low, isn't it? Yes, the bar's incredibly low. Yeah, yeah, like lower than Snake's belly. That's yeah. how low it is. Um, <laughs> marginally better, yeah. There was a couple of couple of good bits in it. But... Okay, well, we'll go through the. We'll have a look at. We'll have a look at the raw results, and uh, here we go. So, obviously, we're building up towards Goldberg versus Drew McIntyre at the Raw Rumble, mm-hmm. and uh, they did have a face to face actual Drew McIntyre, not the um, the elf from the Santa Claus <laughs> or Dwayne Gill. Yes, this is. <laughs> we actually had Goldberg and Drew McIntyre facing off um, before their encounter at the Royal yeah. Rumble. And of course, we have the Miz in the background teasing the fact that he could cash in his money in the bank on the winner of said match, as it's going to be a war. It's going to be compared it to uh, Godzilla versus King Kong, which was uh, had its debut trailer this week. So the WWE mm. are going to milk that for sure. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, what do we think here, guys? I mean, do we, you know, do we think that the Miz could cash in on either of them, or, I mean, how do we actually see this going? Because Miz is, you know, he had the money in the bank, he lost the money in the bank, um, then got it back because of well, actually, no reason at all. Good, yeah, I don't it's really the- know. Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> Go on, Finn. What do, what are your thoughts? As that good big man suddenly changed his mind and thought, oh, actually, no, we should keep it on him um, for good reasons. Um, I don't know. I don't think Miz will cash it in. Maybe we'll try and cash it in and get speared to death. Um, <laughs> well, is, yeah. that your, is that your prediction given away there? Pretty much. I'm going to say Goldberg bloody stupid wins. Cause it's bloody wow. <laughs> so, um, so do you anticipate here that the Miz does cash in and loses or the Miz tries to cash in but gets killed by Goldberg? I think he tries to cash in but doesn't actually get that far. Just Goldberg kills him first. Okay. Oh. Johnson, yeah. I don't know. He's kind what of te- so j- jumping ahead a bit. Um, I, I think uh, so. Miz is, is kind of teased cashing in. He, he teased on SmackDown about cashing in as well because it cashing on mm-hmm. either one, can't he? Um, yeah. And I expect that, especially with it being a last man standing match, uh, that Reigns and Owens will be a bit of a war as well. So there's there's opportunity there. Um, will he cash in? At, uh, if he does, surely he can't win on either. Whether it's Goldberg, McIntyre, whoever it is, 
that is the champion of whatever at the end of Rumble. I don't see the Miz being a successful cash in. Yeah, the thing I was going to say is maybe they turn into a storyline where Miz keeps cashing in, loses, and then finds a way to get it back. So, yeah. To what at... end though? I mean, where where does that end? Yeah. I, I, I think for me, the only the, the only ending to the money in the bank that makes sense, and this is jumping ahead a bit on certain predictions that I may have, um, is if Daniel Bryan is the champion and he cashes in on Daniel Bryan and we have an end to that feud. Yeah. Uh, I guess you that. Ooh, well, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's going deep, that is. <laughs> but there's just so much uh, there's so much rumour is, isn't there at the minute about um, what's going to happen what could happen um, there's a lot of people are, are predicting that uh, that Goldberg will get squashed by Drew and then enter the Rumble oh, there's, there's a, which we do not want to see I mean, come <laughs> on uh, yeah, but that, that would mean that Goldberg definitely wins the Royal Rumble and then we finally yes. get Goldberg versus Reigns at WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why people think that could happen because we're supposed to have that last that year. Shit. Nobody, no. no, no, definitely not. I mean, you could tell by Finn, if you're watching the YouTube version of this now, <laughs> Finn's face says it all. I thought Finn's face. I thought his camera had froze then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one wants it. Imagine if there was a crowd and it comes at number thirty, and then Goldberg is a kid. Oh, <laughs> Can you bigger imagine? booze than uh, Batista and uh, Reigns. Yeah, uh, I hell. think they'd, uh, they'd probably tear the place apart. To be honest, <laughs> yeah, literally no one wants it. Who wants this? No. <laughs> Vince McMahon. Was, huh? He, he, he oh, still yeah. thinks that Goldberg's a big draw. I mean, unless yeah. there's the you know the numbers are there, and we, you know, the the numbers are there ratings wise, and we just don't know. Yeah, is Goldberg really a big draw? And yeah, this did, time uh, did you see the other week? Uh, um, WWE mocked up a picture on Instagram of Goldberg with the title and said, "Is this the future?" <laughs> and then, and then, and then McIntyre actually commented, and uh, right. "Just, just read the comments." <laughs> yeah. yeah, because every single one was no, no, please no. <laughs> and words to that effect. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is the, this is the big problem here. I mean, I just don't understand why why Goldberg. Why keep using Goldberg? I know that they obviously they're going with the angle that um, you know this is the only championship that has eluded Goldberg during his career. Oh, uh, yeah, true, but I don't care. Yeah, no, I don't care either. No one cares. I mean, Goldberg yeah. has a lasting legacy. Goldberg was, you know, you know. Part of the reason why WCW was so successful, you know, at the back end of the 90s and was able to, you know, help drag WCW to number one and, you know, help with, you know, help them take some sort of lead in the Monday Night Wars. He was, you know, a part of that and that will never be taken away from him. But, you know, it's 20 years ago, 22 yeah. years, you know, 21 years ago, 22 years ago. Um, Goldberg didn't succeed in WWE the first time. Um, yeah. no one cared really the second time. So why do we, why should we still care now? Or yeah. what, you know, what, what, what reason do we have to care? Yeah. Mm. I mean, like, nostalgia, banking and gushing in on nostalgia, I guess. We're trying to. But what nostalgia? I mean, I mean the, no one has that nostalgia for Goldberg anymore. Yeah. It's, it's seemed done to death. If they had it in the first place. Yeah. You think after bloody... Saudi Mania when he almost killed the Undertaker and himself. Um, he's just like, okay, okay, that's okay, that's enough Goldberg. He can, he can stay over there. <laughs> yeah, but who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's we'll talk about it more when we go through the Royal Rumble predictions. But oh God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so the the. The raw, well, the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, uh, once again, um, sort of in different parts of the show this week. This ongoing storyline with between Charlotte and and Ric Flair, um, still uh, with Lacey Evans as well, still ongoing. Um, and apparently, Oscar and Charlotte are defending the tag team titles against Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax at the Royal Rumble, um, because yeah. just because. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't really. 
I mean, I, I hope Shayna and Nia win because this that experiment with Charlotte and Oscar just hasn't worked, has it? I don't think either of them win. We just we vacate them. If something happens, we just vacate the title and we give it to someone else. I don't. I see. I don't mind Shayna and Nia as a team. I really don't. I don't hate it at all. I think yeah. they've actually got good yeah. chemistry <laughs> as, as characters. I guess. I don't know. I'm I mean, Nia is, Nia, is, Nia is the big problem there, isn't she? Yes. <laughs> no. It's in Nia always chokes land, bloody Danny Book to death. Yeah. We can roar. Like, yeah. she's doing this. Why is she still here? <laughs> Just get rid of her. At least we could attend the back to the performance center and help her figure out how not to kill people. Like, <laughs> How many times can you really do that, though? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, but they did it again, didn't they, where it started off as a singles match. It ends up being a... Oh, it was a six-woman tag right. in the end. Um, yeah, Kay Kaylee which, like called it before, like yeah. it even happened. And I mean, you know, the it's just such a recurring pattern with these things on Raw, isn't it? It's like um, Charlotte versus Shayna should be a great match on its own, without it needing to be, without you needing to shoehorn everybody else in there as well. Like yeah, you great. know, you, think, you, you dump Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke in there with Charlotte when Charlotte actually has a tag team partner who's going to be defending the other half of that championship with, you know, against two of the other people in the match. <laughs> it makes no sense. And you had a bit of a botched ending as well, didn't you? I don't think they yeah. were supposed to get counted out. Well, oh, people yeah. look, well, they look really, Shayna looked really angry after the match. I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, Charlotte Flair back kicked her face off as well. Yeah, that as well. Point. Did you see that? Yeah, what a mess. What a, what a, what a total mess. That whole segment was a mess. Mm. It's yeah. Dumb. It's so dumb. It's like insanely it dumb. It's I just don't get it. Um, I really don't get it. But you know, Nia Jax will continue to have a role to play. Um, yeah, I just I just don't get it. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, Mustafa Ali's personal vendetta against Kofi Kingston is continuing. Um, th this is definitely going to cul culminate in a match somewhere. Yeah, this like it actually makes sense because you know Kofi took his spot at Elimination Chamber last year, and yeah, I just like it. I like the whole angle. Yeah, mm. I mean, Kaylee nearly choked on her dinner or a cup of tea when the the word slapjack was announced during the entrance. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it sounds so fucking stupid. I just don't. The names are awful. Yeah, slapjack. Just call them by the actual names. Yeah, Shane Thorne. What's the big deal? Yeah, I mean the, these names are. I mean, the, you know, it's you know the, these names are stupid. They're, they're just so ridiculously stupid. T Bar, Slapjack, Mace. Uh, what's my me in called? Is it Retribution or something? No, that's, mm. a, no, that's the name of the faction. <laughs> oh like shit! That. Yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> Retaliation. <laughs> Retaliation. Is that what it is? I, th I think so. Something like that. Uh, yeah. Nutsack, I'm not really sure. I didn't know Yim's character was called Nutsack. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oh, God. I'd like to hear that announced. That'd be awesome. Nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. Maybe we should uh, change one of them to Nutsack. That could be like one of the clauses of losing matches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Change your name to Nutsack. Nutsack. <laughs> oh, Christ. Right. So, uh, yeah, so they, you know, Nutsack they and... Uh, Nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> Nutsack and um, Xavier Woods had a match on Raw. Uh, that ended in um, shenanigans as well, I think. I think so, no, yeah. Woods won, didn't he? Woods won. Woods won, yeah. And then... And then they just all came yeah. in and beat the shit out of him. Basically. Yeah, which was, yeah, which was, and then uh, Mustafa. Have you noticed how they're pronouncing his name differently now? Mustafa, yeah, Mustafa, yeah, because he had he had a go at them on talking smack. I think I don't can't even say my name right. Um, uh, right, you bloody racists. <laughs> so, so uh, I mean, I can't <laughs> off the line thing. Yeah, I mean, the the star of the show here is Ali. Yeah, absolutely. And we, yeah, what we are, we are, you know, we are going to get Kofi versus Ali. I'm not sure where. Um, so we've we've still got what the Elimination Chamber and Fastlane and WrestleMania itself. I would, I mean, me personally, I would save it to, for WrestleMania. But yeah, yeah. Um, maybe I don't know how long Kofi's out for. Mm. Is this like an actual injury or storyline injury? I don't know. He's injured. Yeah. I think he's genuinely injured. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think he's genuinely injured. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. 
Um, um, yeah, I don't know. Hope, yeah, hopefully WrestleMania. That makes my sense. But Ali is definitely one of the more uh, interesting characters on Raw at the minute. He's doing a really good job um, on the mic. He's the only one who has to, you know, hasn't had to change his name to something stupid. Maybe he's nutsack. Your <laughs> 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 name, nutsack. Yeah, <laughs> must have for nutsack. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh man okay <laughs> so uh but that, you know uh, retribution i could do without but ali as a heel i really like yeah mm. me his name but reckoning oh reckoning. yeah okay there yeah. we go not not sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh go on sorry finn i say it should be not like it's much a much better name <laughs> it's, it's a great name as well a really good yeah. name yeah i'm a fan um, right, then we had a really long match between Sheamus and John Morrison, which turned um, into Sheamus versus John Morrison and The Miz, pointlessly. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Was okay. Yeah, just a touch. I mean, it, I thought Morrison had, you know, a good match with Sheamus. Yeah. Really good. But again, this is, this is one of them things where, you know, the, these matches happened years and years ago, probably 10 years ago on SmackDown or something. True. And yet we're still we're, we're now rehashing these matches. Yeah. Do we not have new people to uh, to promote on these shows? Where's Keith Lee? Where's he gone? Yeah, where is Keith Lee? He wasn't on the tour this week, was he? No, okay. genuinely, I was expecting Keith Lee to like tag up with Sheamus against the Miz and Morrison. Yeah, because obviously that yeah. little bit of storyline that they've been having, but apparently that's forgotten, and maybe they're saving Keith Lee for the Royal Rumble or something. I don't know. Yeah, possibly, you know, maybe. Yeah. Uh, then we had a pointless match between our truth and AJ Styles. Uh, yeah. Truth is no more than a comedy wrestler. Yeah, like, which is a shame because, uh, but he plays it really well. Yeah, he's a funny guy. But yeah, we just done to death at this point, isn't it? Pretty much, yep. Yeah. Uh, he's got that twenty four seven championship, which is you know the worst. I think just still get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, at least what, we, what we saw Tucker this week. Oh, oh, yeah. What, Tucker, what is yeah. that ring gear he's wearing, by the way? Oh, it's, it's awful. It's absolutely <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah. God, yeah, the forgotten bad. man, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, what do we make of Alexa's Playground? What do, do we like these segments? or? I think it's a love it, love, it, love, it, love it or hate it thing. I personally, I really like it. I think it's, I like this whole spooky, you know, diplomatic thing they've got going on. Mm. Um, I think I might be in the minority, though. I think I've seen a lot of people that trash it online. But I really like it. People, I mean, wait, people, people trash things online. Uh, well, every now and then, you know, you see it if you look close enough, you'll see it. You know, yeah, people like things a lot online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, in a loud way. Yeah, loud uh, I like it personally. I, I do like yeah. it. Uh, I'm I'm intrigued to see where it's going to go. Obviously, you know, you you would imagine that it's going to lead to the fiend coming back and. Yeah, uh, having a one final encounter with Randy Orton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was very disappointed that Randy wasn't wearing his mask when he came to the ring. Yeah. But he, he's had, he's, he had more burns on his face than Kane has ever had. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. That was just, yeah. just looked like sunburn. Pretty much. Like sunburn. It, probably, it probably is. <laughs> yeah, I've, seen you with, I've seen you with worse sunburn than that, Sonny. No. I think definitely. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I get sunburn pretty bad, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so yeah the the alexa bliss stuff she's obviously teasing that uh, the fiend is going to come back at, at some point which is you know obvious anyway yeah. um i quite like the cinematic stuff i know it's cheesy and whatnot but i, I, I like it well where they well, they do the fiend's face on alexa's mm. face or whatever the rest thing is cheesy that's kind of the whole point yeah it's true actually yeah 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 um in a you know um a bit more of a light-hearted note. Shelton Benjamin forgot to take his mask off. That's oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is cool. At least he's keeping people safe. At least we know that one of the Hurt Business is keeping people safe. The yeah. safe business. The safe business. <laughs> <laughs> um, so once again, I mean, WWE are continuing to tease the dissension in the Hurt Business, mm -hmm. um, you know, which ultimately led to 
Riddle winning and becoming the number one contender to the United States Championship. Uh, yeah. And he will take on Lashley at the Royal Rumble, which is cool. Uh, me yeah. personally, I actually really like Riddle's character at the minute. It, it just suits him. He plays it really well. It almost feels like that, you know, Matt Riddle ultimately would probably be like that in real life. <laughs> yeah, I think it might have turned up, you know, the comedy level of it a little too high. I liked it more when he's in uh, NXT, but it's a bit subdued a bit. Um, but I do like Riddle a lot. I think he's, you know, very talented. I do like the character. Um, yeah, he's just a funny guy. Yeah, his segments his segments cracked me up. Yeah. I know that we mocked, um, you know, the stamping of the foot the last week. Um, yeah. And then you've got other wrestling things on the internet, stealing our jokes, which is fine. I might have them then to be fair. I thought I'd done it before. No, yeah. Finn. They stole no. our jokes. Uh, yeah, okay. They stole our jokes. Maybe we stole their jokes inadvertently. Maybe it's just a universal yeah, joke. Who knows? I got Raw <laughs> is a universal joke, let's be fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so that's that. So, Matt Riddle, or Riddle, sorry. I'm on air. Oh, I, don't, I don't want him to break the hurt business up yet. No, I don't think you're No. Wrong. No. I don't know. I, uh, I'd quite like Ricochet to join. Didn't they tease that, actually, at one point? Yeah, eventually, but I haven't seen Ricochet for a bit now. Yeah, I'd quite, I'd quite like him to join the hurt business. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that too. He needs something to freshen up his character, Ricochet. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe Amazon Prime uh, Alexander gets uh, <laughs> gets booted out and Ricochet comes in in his place. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah. There's some tension going on there with Alexander, isn't he? Yeah. Mm. Prime um, Alexander. I, <laughs> I hope they don't change his name to that. If they change his name to that, I'm not watching it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, WWE, they can't help themselves. Edge is in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. He got himself a very lengthy promo as well. Hmm. I said his birth name as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's illegal. Yeah, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Um, yeah. So Edge is going to be in the Rumble. Um, fine. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's. it's uh, uh, wise, but yeah. Anyway. Do we? I can see why they haven't done it because uh, there's no crowd. So you know having. I think had there been a crowd, it probably would have been. We wouldn't have got this announcement. The thing uh, is, you have that same that same thing two years in a row. You know what I mean? Like it's the same return two years in a row. I think like, when it, it comes it, to the edge, yeah. I think you edge, do. The edge. The edge. The, uh, <laughs> the bass player from U two. The guitarist <laughs> from U two, not bass player. Um, yeah. I think you do. When it comes to Edge, yeah, I, I, I think you could do it two years in a row, and it doesn't feel um, it doesn't feel any less than it did the previous year. Yeah, but there's no yeah. crowd, so we'll never know. So fair enough. Uh, <laughs> I've updated it. <laughs> Can we get a picture of the Edge? <laughs> um, that, that's way too advanced for me. I'll have to sort that out for future. We'll do that for next week. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when I'm leading the charge, you see. Um, <laughs> so, um, and then we had Alexa Bliss and uh, Oscar. You know, she's a, the, one of the women's tag team champions. You wouldn't know. Um, and she took on uh, Alexa Bliss, which ended in disqualification when uh, Randy Orton hit the RKO. Very good RKO on um, Alexa Bliss. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and Randy Orton's got a burnt face. <laughs> yeah. And that's the that's the that's the close of Raw. Yeah, another very subpar effort from WWE. I mean, for fuck's sake, how how much longer can this really carry on? Every podcast this year we've done so far, four if you're counting. Um, mm. yeah, Raw's been absolutely shit every week. <laughs> I don't understand that walking is so bad and SmackDown so good. <laughs> I know. What are they doing differently? <laughs> Uh, yeah. well, I don't know. It's just it's just so stupid. Yeah. 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 And, and I don't I don't know how they change it. I really don't. Well, so yeah. Really... Like that. Yeah. <laughs> <It does suck>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Raw, Raw's terrible, and that was their go home show into the Raw Rumble. Their go home segment um, going into the Raw Rumble is Randy Orton and Alexa Bliss. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. So really, it's a weird one to uh, to to end on, but you know that's WWE, yeah. I guess. Tell me what happened at the Rumble. I'm not sure what. 
or something. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah. 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 There's, uh, um, there's, there's talk of a scary ending to the Rumble. Oh, really? Now, some people are uh, taking that as scary in three different ways. So, scary okay. as in spooky horror, which would mm-hmm. you'd think is maybe the fiend. Scary yeah. as in, oh my God, why have they done that? Like, <laughs> for example, Goldberg wins it. Yeah. Or scary as in there's going to be a spot that is a bit risky. But that's only a rumour. That's only a rumour. Yeah. But um, if there is going to be anything, I think there's going to be some sort of ending that involves Randy Orton and, and The Fiend, maybe. Maybe Alexa Bliss comes into the men's rumble because she is possessed by The Fiend or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I mean, maybe Alexa appears and then the lights go out and the maybe like The Fiend appears behind yeah. Orton, throws yeah. him out. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. There's, there's there's so many cool different things they could do. I don't think that'll be the ending of the Raw Rumble. I think that will be no. mid Raw Rumble match. Um, yeah. It or, depends what sort of ridiculousness they're 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 planning on doing at the end of the Raw Rumble. Yeah. Or the team number thirty Goldberg spears him and throws him out straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Who comes back at thirty? Sorry. Uh, the Fiend. Oh, the Fiend. The Fiend is number thirty. Goldberg spears him and throws him out instantly. <laughs> That'd be classic of the read, but. It would. Uh, yeah, it would be to be fair. Um, yeah, so Raw was terrible again. Um, some good news if you're an Impact Wrestling fan, they're starting to really draw numbers now. Like they're, uh, this is the, the this week's show was the uh, the highest rated Impact since Kenny Omega was on it a few weeks back. Nice. So whatever they're doing, they're doing it right. Yeah, yeah. So if you yeah. are a fan of Impact Wrestling, this is. You know, this is probably a good time to start, you know, really getting hyped up about it. I mean, I've started watching it and I'm really enjoying it. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of cool stuff going on in there. So it's definitely, uh, definitely worth, definitely worth investing a bit of time in if you can. Cool. Yeah. Um, I haven't watched it this week. Um, I, it's on my planner to watch. I've not had a, not as much time on my hands this week as I would like. Uh, I've not watched MLW either, but, um, you know, by all accounts, that was a very strong showing again. Um, who's watched AEW Dynamite? I haven't had a chance yet. Sorry, internet. Okay, I we'll it today, watched but... it this morning. Okay. How, how was it? I haven't watched it myself. Um, it was okay. It, it wasn't. It wasn't fantastic. Um, I'd, I would say that probably NXT was the strongest show. The, well, if you're looking at the Wednesday Night Wars, if that's even a thing. Um, oh, it's definitely it, a thing. I think it's not it, much of, as much of a thing as it was. Like no, when it first no, started, no. I don't think it's anywhere near it. But um, yeah, I think it's definitely a thing. Yeah. So it was. Um, it was all right. It was just all right. You had uh, you had Sting basically coming out and saying he pretty much endorses Darby Allen and that he's there for him and he's going to make sure he's okay. Um, not sure what that's going to lead to, uh, but yeah, nothing nothing massive really really stood out. Um, it, it finished off with a with a decent match. You had a, a six man tag. It was the the inner circle guys had had another match. Uh, which finished okay, um, but yeah, it's uh, nothing really grabbed me this week with with AEW. It was it was just okay. Fair enough. So not not terrible, but uh, not setting the world on fire either. No, no. But still, I'm still going to carry on watching it. Still going to uh, still going to keep up with it because uh, it's generally, generally it's a very very good show. So why yeah. would I not keep up with it? So. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. That's uh, that sounds good. So NXT, you mentioned, uh, yeah, NXT was great again this week. Yeah, yeah, really, really good. Yeah, really enjoyed. NXT. Really, really good show. Um, it's definitely picking up um, after its uh, sort of little bit of a slump. Not a massive slump, but um, it was a slump nonetheless. But yeah, really, really good this week. Um, so we had the dusty the dusty cup carried on. Uh, MSK defeated um, Drake Maverick and Killian Dane. Mm-hmm. MSK are my pick for the whole thing. Really good. I love yeah. watching them. They're so good. Really, really good. Always good really? to see as well. What's that, sorry? It's always good to see fresh faces. Um, and yeah, it's just a good, have, always have a good showing every week. And so far. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, it was probably too short that match, probably, but um, it was yeah, it was good. Yeah, really good. It was good, really good. Um, Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai defeated uh, Aaliyah and Jesse Kamea of the Robert Stone brand. Uh, mm. Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez um, are my picks to win it. Yeah, Raquel Gonzalez has improved a lot since when she first. Oh year. God, yeah, yeah, really, really good. She's awesome. Um, yeah, I'll probably say I can't remember who did it to be honest. But definitely one of the, one of the favorites for sure. I'd be a them or um, um, the way. Yeah, Candice LeRae and uh, Indy Hartwell. Yeah, yeah, Indy wrestling. <laughs> yeah. I, need to, I, I need to backtrack a little, if I if I may. No, but yes, go on. I think I watched the wrong episode of AEW. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I definitely did. Well, I don't know okay. what's happened there. Cause that's why I was a bit kind of like um, vague because I was looking at the results and I was thinking, this is not what I watched earlier. Right. Okay. That's good. So I don't know what's gone on there with my Sky Planner. I apologize, people. <laughs> so it may well have been the greatest episode of AEW ever, uh, but I watched the wrong one. It's good that's stuff. Tough. <laughs> I'm just looking now on this website. Actually, they've not graded it as a, a, a very good show. Um, yeah, there we go. Watch the wrong episode. <laughs> uh, apparently, Dax Harwood versus Jungle, but yeah, that makes sense because that was set up in what I watched this morning. Christ Almighty! <laughs> this is what happens when you're awake at six o'clock in the morning. Cheers, kids. Um, I'm glad you fucked this whole wrestling segment up by doing that. Anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah Sorry, team. <laughs> Sorry, team. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um, classic games and grabs. It is actually, yeah. It's classic games and grabs. So uh, maybe yeah, this is, week, AW game. was okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dolph Ziggler's so maybe were... brother debuted. Yeah, he fought um, uh, Hangman. Didn't Hangman he? Page. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice. What's his mm. name? Ryan Nemeth, Is it? Yes. Ryan Ziggler. Yeah. Ryan Ryan Ziggler. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see, there's definitely a resemblance there. Yeah, yeah, there definitely is. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's that's good. The AW uh, <laughs> AW segment, just ignore it completely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I just do totally know what it. I'm on about. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a games and grabs thing to do for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, um, Tyler Rust fought uh, Danny Garcia. Bit of a squash, to be honest. Um, hmm. Rust is. Um, an up and comer, and I I quite like him. He's pretty good. Yeah, me too. Mm. What was he? Yeah. So far, so good. I like him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, another great match in the Dusty Cup. Uh, Grizzled Young Veterans uh, took on Leon Ruff and Kushida. Uh, yeah, yeah. Another good one. Yeah, that's a good match. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Grizzled Young Veterans love seeing them being um, used so much on uh, NXT. In a lot of time, getting the mics before. Um, their match as well, which is great. So that's you know that, that I mean they could win it. I still think MSK will win it, but uh, Grizzled Young Veterans are a great shout if uh, anyone's picking them. Yeah, I reckon that'll be the final Grizz, uh, Grizzled Young Vets against MSK for sure. Yeah, and Jesus, what a match that'll be! Yeah, <laughs> good. wow. Um, this also set up or continued to set up Kushida and Johnny Gargano for the North American Championship, uh, yeah. which will no doubt take place on Takeover at the beginning of February. Oh yeah, absolutely. But that was good. That was a good match. Um, Tony Storm and Mercedes Martinez uh, both looking to capture the NXT Women's Championship from Io Shirai. I do think one of them will win it at Takeover. Yeah, I reckon Io Shirai would be debuting on the main roster at some point soon. Maybe to be yeah. in the moment. Mm. Maybe. Um, mm. I know Rhea Ripley is heading up to the main roster. I read that. Oh yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so um, I mean, Tony uh, WWE seems to be putting a lot of stock in Tony Storm on their social media at the minute. So I would yeah. sort of lean towards Tony Storm winning the championship. Music, the new music, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I like Tony Storm a lot. I like a lot on NXT UK. Um, but yeah, it's like good to see her in this little push. I like it. Yeah, definitely. She's really good, super talented, uh, great character, great look, and great in ring worker as well. Yeah, mm. doesn't he? 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bronson Reed, the colossal Bronson Reed, who has a really awesome Godzilla type entrance. I'm a big yeah. mark for that. Definitely. <laughs> uh, he beat uh, Isaiah Swerve Scott. Mm. I like Swerve as well. I mean, like him for a minute. Yeah, I like Swerve. I like Bronson Reed as well. Yeah, yeah. Same. I like them both. Yeah. Very cool. And then in the main event, we had um, Finn Balor and Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, what a team that is on paper. Defeating oh, yeah. the NXT Tag Team Champions, Only Larkin and Danny Birch. This is all sort of brewing over into, I imagine we're, we're going to get some sort of multi-man tag team match between uh, the uh, Undisputed Era and mm-hmm. Pat McAfee's lads, Pat's lads. I imagine I imagine McAfee will come back at some point and we'll have like an eight man tag and then yeah. we'll have Finn Balor versus Pete Dunne for the NXT championship. Yes, yes please. Yeah. Uh once again no sign of Karrion Cross really entering himself into the mix here for the uh for the NXT championship. Mm-hmm. Um there was a there was a there was a, like a vignette for him this week but um it didn't really tell us much of anything. Uh there's still a very good chance that he could be in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I think they're just keeping in the back burner for now until there's a few ready for him. Just like keeping the background. Look, he's still here. He's still doing things. Just wait. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the, the, the the feud waiting for him is him going into up to the main roster because I don't really see how he fits into NXT. He's probably at this point uh, too unbeatable, if that makes sense. Yeah, like, it's almost too obvious that he's going to be the NXT champion again. Yeah, yeah. I reckon if he, you know, the first time around, if he hadn't got injured, he would have been like. Undefeated champion for a long time. Uh, but since that didn't happen, uh, yeah, I can see him going to the main roster. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, and that was NXT. Really good show. Really, really good show. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, before we go on to the Raw Rumble predictions, what we'll do is we'll just very quickly breeze through SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, what do we think of SmackDown? Yeah, really good again. It's consistently good every week. Uh, yeah, well, a little, bit, a little bit of a mess this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, like, yeah. the ending was a bit. Um, the ending was a bit, a bit messy. Yeah, uh, yeah. A typical sort of Royal Rumble, uh, go home show. Uh, yeah. Showcasing what certain people could possibly do, or maybe they might win the Rumble, or maybe they might win the Rumble. <laughs> um, and then, yeah. yeah, we did have a return in, uh, in in Braun Strowman, who came in and just absolutely cleaned house. So yep. again, people are maybe people, maybe he could win it. Uh, he won't. Um, so yeah, uh, it it was good up to a point, and then the the ending was just uh, a little bit messy. Um, again, with the starting off with singles matches, comes back from the break, it's a six man tag, and then it's this, and then it's that. So yeah. it was uh, a bit all over the place. Yeah, I mean the actual SmackDown stuff that um, you know that was on there was was good. Uh, yeah, yeah, the promo between the uh, uh, Reigns and Kevin Owens was really, really good. Uh, and also, like, Kevin yeah. Owens is wearing a, a Ever Rice t shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I noticed yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's an excellent promo by, by both of them. Again, they're both excellent. They're both the best things going at Monster Smackdown at the minute. 100%, yeah. 100%. Yeah. 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 Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, so Smackdown was good this week. It was just, you know, just fine. Yeah, didn't any ending was a bit was what ruined it a little bit. Just but. messy. I mean, it, but that's a typical Raw Rumble go home thing, I think. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you had uh, Raw guys on SmackDown this week. Apparently, there's some rules. Brand, brand that... invitational. It's the brand to brand invitational, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> New to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, Belair versus uh, Bade was really good. Really, really good. Yeah, Bianca yeah. Belair is, uh, is a massive star. Yeah, absolutely. So good. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I just wonder with this uh, Bianca Belair versus Bailey, if they, uh, uh, quite a lot of people have got Belair as favourite for the Rumble, mm-hmm. the Women's Rumble. Uh, yeah. So with her beating Bailey, is that kind of a precursor to her not winning it? Or I don't know. It's yeah, only it's- already, we're, uh, it was only two days out, at, you know, at time of recording. Um, so I mean, that's a hell of a push if you, you know, beating Bailey clean. And then winning the rumble two days later. But that's, that's the kind of strong showing that she needs if she's going to be a realistic challenger to definitely. the championship of Mania, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. All but, right. Yeah, let's... great match. Yeah, definitely. All right. Let's move on then to do our Royal Rumble predictions. Cool. Thank you, Nicky. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so we've got I've got six matches listed here. Uh yes, okay. we do. 
There we go. There's a nice new background for uh, for this as well. A little bit pixelated. Could have got a better picture, but you know it is what it is. Yeah, yeah we got Ro- yeah we got Roman Reigns there in the corner, which is nice. A bit of Randy Orton, Randall Keith. Yeah. Uh, right. So we've got <laughs> Sasha Banks versus Carmella for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Who we got and why? Um, I guess the being the to be honest, I'm going to say Sasha Banks is because she hasn't had the title for long. Um, she never does. Yeah, we just like plastic Sasha Banks there. Um, but obviously, Commander's got this whole new gimmick going on, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go with Sasha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm going to go Sasha. Um, I think she carries that championship all the way to WrestleMania and then loses. Yeah, I'd say that. Steve? Uh, I'm also going to go for Sasha Banks. Same reasons as you guys. Okay. Uh, Oscar and Charlotte Fair defending the uh, Women's Tag Team Championships against Nia Jackson, and Shayna Baszler. Don't care. Yep. <laughs> um, I'll say Charlotte and Asuka. You can go either way, and I don't care either way, to be honest. Uh, I'm uh, going to go Nia Jax and Baszler, only because I don't see the point in Oscar and Charlotte even having it. Yeah, true. Yeah, same. Shayna and uh, Nia Jax to win, just because there's no point in Flair and Oscar having them at all. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Um, not listed on here, but it's happening as far as I'm aware, is um, Riddle versus Bobby Lashley for the um, United States Championship. Oh, uh, yeah. Got that one. Um, mm. Again, I want Riddle to win, but I think Lashley's going to win it. You keep it in the hurt business. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I would like to see Riddle win it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Riddle. I, I, You know, I'm probably, you know, probably wrong. Almost definitely yeah. wrong. Oh, that's what happened, but... Yeah, uh, but I'm going to go Riddle win it. I, I see some, you know, this dissension in the hurt business costing Lastly the championship, and uh, I, I'm not sure where it goes. But I, I hope this whole build is for Riddle to win it. Yeah, it'd be nice. Maybe Alexander fucks it up and gets kicked out or something. Yeah, yeah, mm. I see that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'd like Steve? Riddle to win it, but um, I think Lashley will win. Keep it for a little Lashley, bit longer. Yeah. yeah, we'll go for Bobby Lashley. All right. Okay. Uh, right. Goldberg versus Drew McIntyre for the uh, WWE Championship. Mm. It's gonna be Goldberg, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I don't see any point in Goldberg being in this match if he isn't going to win it. Yeah, same. So I am going to say Goldberg. The only thing I can see if he does lose it, and then we'll be in the rumble. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happens there. And then I can't that? see him in the rumble and him not winning. So <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing, isn't it? That's, that's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going Goldberg. Yeah, I'm going Goldberg. I'm going to go for Big Daddy Drew to win. Mm. I think he's going to squash. Him. I think he's going to squash him. I really do. I wish that I wish they'd sort this fucking uh, entrance spot out for Drew though, like because he seems to like mess up the sword going into the floor every week. <laughs> it looks awkward <laughs> and shit. Yeah, it does. It does look a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. Looks a bit awkward and crap, but um <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say Goldberg, definitely. But yeah, I, I hope I'm wrong. But there's part of me that would love to see the meltdown on Twitter if Goldberg wins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is that. There massive massive is that. meltdown. Especially if he beats him like decisively as well, like the bell rings, spear, jackhammer, one, two, three, it's over, Goldberg <laughs> in thirty seconds. Yeah, that'd be classic Goldberg. That's all that's the <laughs> Opening yeah. match of the night as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, free show man. Are we saying um, no, no Miz cash in here? Um, nah. no, no, no. Okay, all right. Um, Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens in a last man standing match for the Universal Title. Hmm. Um, I think Reigns will win it. Um, they're gonna keep the storm going on for a while yet. I think. I think it'll be a good showing up both guys. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I can. Yeah, I think Roman Reigns will win. Yeah. I think it I'd love to see Owens win, but it, yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think now's the time to take the belt off Reigns. I think if you're going to take the belt off Reigns, it needs to be on the big stage at WrestleMania. Yeah, I agree. I've loved I agree. this feud though. By the way, I've really loved it. I thought it's. I think it's mm. been uh, the best feud that we've had in WWE in a, in a long, long time, and. 
I yeah, I, as much as I, I love Kevin Owens, I think he's great, but I just don't think it's the right time just yet to take the belt off Reigns. No, I agree. I'm gonna say if Miz, Miz was gonna cash in, it would be on this one and then lose. Um, but I don't think he will. No, Steve. I'm gonna go for Reigns. Uh... I would love for Kevin Owens to win. Huge Kevin Owens fan. I just can't see Reigns dropping the belt anytime soon. I actually think he will keep it for a long time. I think he'll keep it past Mania. Uh, mm. Maybe even into the early part of next year. I wow. think he'll have, wow. it, he'll have it for ages. Yeah. And I think he should as well. I think he should just really just be that heel for for ages. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think he'll turn face eventually. Um, they, they won't be able to to help themselves, but <laughs> yeah, I think I think, I think he'll. Uh, but it 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 might be better this time, you know, when he when he turns face because uh, they see what he can do as a heel. So it might be he might have that better reaction. But um, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go for Roman Reigns. Okay, clean sweep for Reigns. Who mm. wins the women's Raw Rumble match? Who indeed? Um, Goldberg. Yeah, Goldberg, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's just probably the toughest one to call out of both the Rumbles. Um, Bianca Belair is definitely the favourite to win it, but I can also see Alexa Bliss potentially winning it or Charlotte because he wins everything. Oh, I'm uh, not Charlotte. Sure. I can't be doing with I that. I really hope it's not Charlotte or Shayna Baszler because she got, got screwed last time. Um, yeah, there's a few people I can see winning it. Uh, I'm going to say Alexa. Okay. That'd be different. Than say Alexa. Uh, I'm going to go for Bianca Belair. It's sure. so yeah. difficult to look past her. Yeah, I know that's a smart choice, for sure. But she had the Chronicle and stuff like that, and, um, mm. you know, all that. She's had a great showing recently. She's been super impressive, and she's awesome. Um, I'm going for Bianca Belair. Yeah, that's definitely a smart choice. Yeah, it's a tough one. It's either between Bianca Belair or Alexa Bliss. I'm going to go for Bianca Belair. I think they're uh, they're really pushing her. Uh, if she'll face uh, Bailey at Mania, I would imagine. Bailey. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Well, you think Bailey takes the belt off Sasha? I think something's I, I, something's going to happen. Some. I, I I think that's what they're building to. They're building to uh, uh, Bianca Belair versus Bailey at Mania. So I, I don't know. Some, something's going to happen between. I don't see Sasha as the champion. At Mania, no, no. Mm, mm, okay, okay. Um, all right. Who wins the men's Royal Rumble? Mm. Uh, the favorite is definitely Danny Bryan at the minute, for sure. Yeah, um, I'd say also uh, like most get a good push, and uh, as is Cesaro. I'd like to either them winning it, winning it. Um, yeah, Edge maybe. I'm going to throw it out there and say Keith Lee's going to win it. I would love Keith Lee to win it. <laughs> he'll, he'll take it off Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. He'll go. He'll pick Reigns from SmackDown and take it off him. Mm. That's my okay. out there prediction. I think Keith Lee's going to win the Royal Rumble and challenge Reigns. That would be very cool. Um, I, I you know what I'm going to go with my heart on say Cesaro because I love Cesaro and I want him to win everything. <laughs> I want him to be a champion. Yeah. Okay. I can. I mean, yeah, me too. But. Um, I, just, I mean, he's not uh, going to win, but I want him to. Okay, fair enough. All right. So you've got, you've got with your heart and not your head. Fair enough. Cesaro. Yeah. All right. Steve? I like both of your choices, definitely. Cesaro, I, I wouldn't be against it. I wouldn't be against Nakamura winning it. I wouldn't be against Keith Lee winning it. But I do think it'll be Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't want that. I don't. I don't want the uh, heroic Daniel Bryan victory at um, WrestleMania again. We've had it. We've, we've already had it once. I mean, I love Daniel Bryan. It's great, but I don't think I, I need to see that heroic championship win at uh, WrestleMania for a second time. If he does win it, I don't think he'll win. If it goes against Reigns, I think you know it'd be close. But I think Reigns will uh, get the win by shenanigans and people will be pissed off, and you know, and it'll be good. Okay. Based on what I said earlier about Reigns keeping the belt for a long time, I think Brian. I don't think Brian wins at Mania. Yeah, and that might be his kind of uh, almost like his send off, because there is okay. this te teasing of him slowing down, going into kind of a like semi retirement. That could be the. Uh, as they always say you you kind of uh, 
your last match you always lose, don't you? So not <laughs> yeah. saying it will be his last match at Mania, but it'll it may have that feel about it. That'll that potentially be the build over the next few weeks if Daniel Bryan wins the Royal Rumble. Yeah, okay. that's his last match as a full time wrestler. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, yeah, cool. So um to win. As long as you're not bloody Goldberg, I'm happy. <laughs> yep, fair enough. That's good. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, Goldberg is going to be in a spear versus spear match versus Edge at WrestleMania anyway. So, <laughs> it's just, it's, yeah, how many spears can you hit in ten minutes? Oh, that's what it's going to be: triple threat: Reigns versus Goldberg versus Edge for the uh, <laughs> for all of King the championships. Of, King yeah. of the spear. Yeah. There we go. Good times, right? So we are going to be live um, this Sunday uh, on the Powered Four facebook page um Yay. with the royal rumble pre-show before the pre-show we will talk about the royal rumble more in depth as well uh obviously we'll t- discuss any breaking news that happens between now and then i know that wwe backstage is happening tonight and they are going to uh reveal sort of uh yeah. number 30 in the men's royal rumble and number one and two in the women's royal rumble for whatever reason um well, there's also a match tonight to determine who comes in at number 30 in the women's and the match one well, backstage, yeah, yeah, right. I the, match that. Is the, yeah. the match is between Natalia and Tamina. Oh, fuck it as hell. to who comes in at number 30 in the women's Royal Rumble. Awesome. So that's a match what to determine who isn't going to win the women's Royal Rumble. Good. Yeah. Why are they doing that? That's get really people, weird. Get wow, get, get pe- to oh, try and get people to watch backstage, that? it's to get yeah. people to watch backstage. That's all it is. Fuck backstage, we might see him punk. <laughs> <laughs> wow okay so um so yeah you can catch us on powered Four tv um tomorrow night uh if you if you obviously if you're listening to this on saturday if you're listening to it in the future you've missed it and i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> but for now um this has been episode 129 of the games and graphics podcast we are a weekly you know, game and wrestling podcast the posts on podcast services everywhere 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 and youtube.com forward slash games and graps and facebook.com forward slash games and graps go follow us on all of the social medias that's at games and graps twitter facebook and instagram um but for now i'm sunny i'm Vin. i'm steve and we will see you next week take it easy guys goodbye thank you much goodbye goodbye Goldberg, Goldberg. Ooh. <laughs> Not sad.